MSC wants to rule the world, and Carnival is reaching for the stars. This is your Cruise News Fix. Welcome back to the cruise world. This is the Cruise News Fix. And yes, we continue to have cruise ships coming to the rescue of refugees off the coast of Cuba with two of the most recent incidents involving the MSC Meraviglia and Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas, who together this week rescued dozens of Cuban migrants. But after a week of crazy storms and canceled ports last week, so far, the news has been pretty good. So without further ado, here's your cruise news fix. If you ask cruisers from the US, what's your favorite cruise line? You're bound to hear a lot of folks say Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Norwegian, maybe a couple of others, but you probably won't hear a lot of people say MSC, but their goal is to change your mind. MSC is already a top cruise brand in many parts of the world, and now they have their sights set on North America. By the end of this year, MSC will have five ships sailing in North America for the 23-24 winter season, with three sailing from Miami, one in Port Canaveral, and one in New York. And in 2025, the brand new 215,000 gross ton World America will make her way across the Atlantic. Now we sailed on MSC Seashore last year and it was a beautiful ship. It's got a New York theme. And though I thought the customer service was lacking a bit, Stephanie and I really enjoyed the experience. So much so that we're sailing MSC again twice this year. They offer cruise experiences from discount prices all the way up to their yacht club and add to that the continuing development of their private island Ocean K and a rapidly growing modern fleet, I think MSC has a good shot to wedge their name into that conversation in the next couple of years. Have you sailed with MSC? And if so, what did you think? And if you haven't, do you have any plans to? Let us know down in the comments. But for me, there's no doubt that MSC is dedicated to growing and improving that's great for the cruise industry. And while we're on the topic of growing cruise lines, let's talk about Virgin, who's really starting to get around. Virgin Voyages CEO Tom McAlpin said that the line is introducing 33 new ports and more than 10 new itineraries. And the line will welcome two new ships this year with the Resilient Lady in the spring and the Brilliant Lady later this year. Effectively, they will end up launching three ships within a one-year period. That's pretty crazy. McAlpin said, our challenge is awareness. When people come on our ship, they see the experience, love it, and get off the ship and tell their friends. Word of mouth is crucial for us because we need to create more awareness. And they're doing a good job with their new Now We're Voyaging ad campaign and Karma Chameleon video we talked about a couple weeks ago. Steph and I really enjoyed Virgin as well. And just about everybody we've spoken to that has sailed with Virgin not only enjoyed it, but plans on sailing with them again. Finally, yesterday we got the news that I know a lot of us have been waiting for. If you use Wi-Fi on board, you'll appreciate this, but for those of us that try to download, upload, and work from our computers while we're sailing, this is fabulous news. Carnival Corporation announced yesterday an agreement with SpaceX's Starlink for the entire fleet. The rollout began last month with Carnival Cruise Lines and AIDA cruise ships with plans to expand Starlink to Princess, Holland America, Seaborne, p and Costa, and Cunard. Starlink is supposed to rival on-land connectivity experiences with fast, reliable connections. In today's day and age, with so many people working remotely, this opens up a whole new world of possibilities, literally. Carnival Corporation CEO Josh Weinstein said, for many of our guests, it has become more and more important to maintain the type of connectivity at sea that they've become accustomed to at home and of course to share the unforgettable experiences of their cruise with friends and family. We are in the business of delivering happiness and Starlink makes it as easy as possible for our guests to share all their great moments and memories, giving them even more joy out of their cruise vacation. Late last year, we got the bad news that the Carnival Jubilee was behind schedule and numerous cruises, including ours, were canceled. She's now set to sail her maiden voyage on December 23rd for what should be a very jubilant Christmas for those on board. On Tuesday, Myra Wirth provided a construction update and a photo of her bright new blue paint. We're looking forward to more updates from Carnival on the Jubilee's new zones, and we'll let you know when they're released. And speaking of updates, if you like staying up to date on the latest happenings in the cruise world, we'd love to invite you to subscribe to this channel. We're dedicated to bringing you fun and informative cruise content, so if you love cruising, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and enable the notification so you'll be the first to know when we post new videos. I think it's pretty well documented that I love cruising and I love ice cream. So what could be better than a cruise line partnering up with an ice cream company when the ice cream is spiked? Margaritaville at Sea has partnered with liquor-infused ice cream business Tipsy Scoop 
to add a cocktail-inspired ice cream and other frozen treats to their ship. Kevin Sheehan Jr., president and CEO of Margaritaville at Sea said, guests know our amazing bartenders always have booze in the blender, but these new options blend the magic of Tipsy Scoop's artisanal handcrafted ice cream with the mastery of a perfectly mixed cocktail for next level fun with an island vibe. In addition to those frozen concoctions that help you hang on, Margaritaville at Sea passengers can also enjoy five flavors of Tipsy Scoop frozen treats, two of which, Blue Margarita Sorbet and Bahama Mama Ice Cream, were created exclusively for the cruise line. Several days ago, Cruise Center reported that NCL was reducing their entertainment department across the fleet, and that's a real bummer for me because I have a couple of Norwegian cruises lined up this year and I really enjoy onboard entertainment. And now Norwegian Cruise Line has also announced that they're canceling some cruises. Nothing to be alarmed about here because this is an advanced notification due to the Norwegian Joy undergoing a dry dock revitalization in early 2024. Now, if you were booked on the Joy between January 6th and February 10th of next year, you should have already gotten an email and you'll automatically receive a 100% refund return to your original form of payment. In addition, affected guests will also get a 10% future cruise credit based on their fare paid towards any future Norwegian Cruise Line sailing through December 31st, 2024. That's it for today's cruise news fixed, quick and easy. Smash that like button. Make sure to share this video with your cruising friends so they can stay up to date. And next up, check out this video about Wonder of the Sea stage show Effectors 2. We even got to chat with the choreographer. And as always, remember, life is short and cruising is fun. We'll see you next time.